Hi everyone, this is Matthias here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create your whisper list in TeamSpeak 3 client. Okay, first, you hit the tools at the top, and in the drop down menu, you look for the whisper list. Click on that. Okay, a new menu will pop up. You need to create a new one if this is your first time, and then it'll ask you to for a hotkey combination. For me, I'll just use the alternate key, but you can choose whatever you you, you prefer. Okay, make sure the whisper tool is set to the clients and channels. Then select the Alpha's TeamSpeak channels, and then look for the in, uh, Git Wars two channel. Okay. This is very important uh, because uh, you will only be communicating with the people or the players within the uh, Git Wars two channel, okay, and not with the other um, uh, channels here. So that's it, and you're good to go. So if we wanted to um, test it out, we can create our own sub-channel. Okay. And we hit the uh, with the key, the hot key, and you can see this little red dot here. It's it's actually communicating with the, the uh, party or users within the Git Wars 2 channel. And you notice it's not lighted up on the other channels as well. So it means that we're only talking to the people within this um, within this channel. Okay, so I hope this would uh, make our guild missions uh, more effective, and uh, you can use this as well for your world world missions as uh, world world events as well. And if you want to create uh, something similar for the other channels, you can do so, but you probably would need to change the uh, the whisper list a bit. Okay, so I hope everyone has. Uh, uh, can be able to set this up before the next uh, guild mission event. Alright, thank you for watching.